Hi, it's Marianne Tansley from Thrive Admin Services. And in this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how you can set customized work hours and locations for your Outlook calendar. Now, at the time of recording, this feature is only able to be accessed via Outlook on the web. So before we get stuck into it, I want to show you, I want to tell you how you can access that feature. So you're going to head to office.com in whichever web browser you prefer. Sign in using your Office 365 or your Microsoft 365 login. And then from the app launcher, the nine dots up in the top left hand corner, you're going to head to Outlook and you'll get to this view. Now, obviously, your view will be different because your inbox will look different. But once we're here, it doesn't matter which web browser you use. But once we're here, the process will be the same. So once we're in this window, instead of heading to the calendar, what we're actually going to do is we're going to head to the settings, which is this uh, cog up in the top ribbon. Once that's open, we're going to head to the calendar tab in the first bar in the first column. And then here we're heading to work hours and location. It should be the last one. And then you can see what we've got here is that you can set your work location and your work hours for the days that suit you. So if you don't work a particular day, you can actually make it so that your calendar shows that you're not available. And this is great for things when you're linked to things like Teams or bookings, because it means that when people are trying to book time with you, it will show that you're actually not in the office. So whether you're busy or not busy and have appointments in, it means you don't have to put a recurring appointment in that would explain that you're out of office on that day, which is a pain. So if I, at the moment, you can see I've got it set up as Monday to Friday, eight to five, and then the appointments that I put in my calendar will determine my availability for other appointments to come in. Now, what I can do is say, look, I have a standing appointment every Friday from 11 till three. So I'm just not available on a Friday from 11 till three. So what I can do here is I can actually change my settings for Friday only instead of it being a total set for the week, a start and a finish for every day. So I can make this, uh, I can go from eight, I can go till 10.30 because I have to, whoops, that's 10.30 p.m. That's crazy talk. Um, I can make it 10.30 a.m. I am in the office. And then from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. I am remote. So I might be out and about, but I'm available and can take calls. So I can set that. And what it means now, I didn't like that, did it? I'll make that off first to see if that worked. Oh. Let's go back here. Yep, saved it. I don't know why. My internet's been a bit patchy today, so apologies for that. So now what I've got is that I'm running 8 till 10.30. And then there'll be a gap that shows me as not available. So if someone's looking to schedule a meeting with me and you can use that internal function where it shows people's availability, it's automatically going to say if they choose a meeting that it starts at 1130 and runs till 1230, I can't attend it on a Friday. Likewise, my booking calendar will now automatically remove any available appointment slots on a Friday in that window without having to put in a manual appointment or potentially have to, you know, go in and create all of these other workarounds, this is a new solution for you. Um, the information that you pop here with your location actually also now feeds into Teams with the new Teams that's coming out at the time of recording as well. So this is a way for you to create a customized calendar. If there are days that you don't want to be available and visible in this account, so this is in my Marianne at Thrive. If you have uh, an info app that you want to be generally available, but your personal one, you would like to have less availability, you can do that instead of the previous way of working, which was where you set a start and finish time for a day. And then you set the days of the week you were available. This now gives you that micro control, which for some of us is really, really handy. So give it a go and let me know how you go.